Howdy guys, Patriot coming to you tonight. This of course is the Tom Brown Tracker, the now infamous and highly controversial design. Uh, this is the Tracker one of course with a full six and a half or six and a quarter inch blade. I just uh, recently acquired this in the last 48 hours or so and thought that I'd share it with you. And I've got the uh, original Kydex sheath with uh, twin clips on it. I do have the Tom Brown Tracker, the user's guide basically, which is fairly thorough. It's uh, 20 pages with a lot of uh, pictures in here. Whether or not everything shown in here is going to be practical, uh, we have yet to, to find out on, on that. But they offer lots of suggestions and that's good because I'll be trying out pretty much everything in here, seeing what's for real and what's not. I'm just looking at some of the things and I sort of suspect that some things are not going to be quite practical, but uh, we'll see. The certificate of authenticity I think is a, a little bit strange just because it assumes that somebody couldn't uh, duplicate this piece of paper, but they could duplicate the knife. I don't know. That seems a little odd to me, but anyhow, I guess it's a throwback to an earlier age. Uh, it does say that it's manufactured in 2007, which is the only piece of literature that I have here that would indicate when it was made. I suppose you could always call Topps Knives and give them the serial number and they could tell you what year it was made, I suspect. It does have the serial number here. It's got Mike Fuller's signature, the owner of Topps Knives. Now this also came with this leather sheath that's also by Topps and it actually fits very nicely. It's just a friction fit, but in some ways I like the fit a little bit better than the Kydex. That said, it is pretty heavy. I mean, this thing's really thick, pushing three quarters of an inch thick here of leather, and it is heavy. It's got two two inch wide uh, straps on it, or loops, and I was told that the person, the uh, original owner, which is who I got this from, ordered this sheath and knife back in 2007 with this belt. So I haven't seen anywhere from Topps Knives that this was available through them, but maybe when this first came out, he requested it and maybe Topps Knives had a belt maker. Maybe it was the person that made the sheath, I don't know. But uh, anyhow, they matched it up nicely and it's got the uh, horizontal mount, which uh, I'm not very convinced about at all. I have been wearing this around a little bit. If I use this, I'll probably be using this uh, vertically. In any case, it's uh, it's quite a nice package. I mean, I've got, got the full deal here with the, uh, the manual and certificate and both she's and a bonus, uh, a very high quality leather belt, two inch so wide. So moving belt. right along here, I had mentioned that uh, I acquired this just recently, with, within the last uh, 48 hours or so, and I had been watching these for a while. I'd always been curious about it. I never wanted to put the money out there because I wasn't really convinced of the design, and I didn't foresee it replacing a couple of my other excellent knives that I love, like the Cold Steel Recon Scout or the 9-inch Trailmaster. You know, if I'm going to buy something, I'm going to, it's because I think it will fit uh, a, a niche somewhere in my in my uh, collection or my arsenal of knives, I, I guess you would say. And uh, so I never bought one, but uh, I ran into a good deal. The person uh, originally wanted to sell me this knife. And in the end, we basically worked out a trade in which he practically gave this knife to me along with the uh, both sheaths and the belt and the documentation everything so thanks Leo I appreciate that that was a very kind gesture and I'm going to make good use of it so thanks again really appreciate that so my initial impression of this knife well I must say it's it's one quality piece of hardware uh, the fit and finish on this knife, the finish is beautiful. It's a real thick epoxy. The handles are nicely sculpted, rounded off here at the at the corners. I wasn't too sure about the finger grips here, but it turns out that it's actually very comfortable. Uh, I have a medium-sized hand, and I like the generous handle on here. I didn't think that I would, but 
I, I, I actually really like it. The jimping up here is very effective. It's not slippery. It's, it's nice and aggressive. The fit here uh, and the carving where they carved down into the linen micarta handle turned out real nice. It's got the, the uh, red liners in here, which are just visually appealing. They look great, I think. The uh, machining on the blade itself looks very nice. It's round where it needs to be round and sharp where it needs to be sharp. And overall, I, I'm impressed. I mean, it's visually stunning. It looks, it looks neat. It looks different. And the thing feels like an axe in the hand. It's amazing how much weight is there. As a matter of fact, if I take my Cold Steel Trailmaster right here, which I would normally not say was light and flickable, this thing feels like a toy after picking up the uh, Tom Brown Tracker. And not, I don't mean that in a bad sense. I mean that this thing is just such a hatchet of a knife that <laughs> I'm not so sure about it. I'm, I'm uh, I mean, I, I'm guessing that it has the weight to be a great chopper, and the Trailmaster actually feels kind of lightweight now. It feels like it wouldn't be as good of a chopper as it is. This is an excellent chopper, as well as even the uh, seven and a, seven and a half inch Recon Scout. So, anyhow, this is the uh, an older one. Uh, my letters here are a little wore off on it, but. Uh, this is the Made in USA Carbon V Steel, and uh, it's been a great knife. I've owned it for a long time. I uh, haven't used it real heavy duty like I have my Recon Scout, but uh, it is a nice, uh, a nice blade, and uh, it has seen some medium use. But yes, I am surprised looking at the spine on this, a full 5 16 inch thick compared to the quarter inch thick on the Tom Brown Tracker. Uh, you look at these two and you think, well, the Trailmaster's got to feel close to that in weight. Well, it doesn't. I believe this thing's around 17 ounces. Well, this is 1 pound 12 ounces. That's a huge difference. And I'm guessing that's just because of the profile of, of the blade. Whereas this is a full flat grind and starts to taper off of that 5 16 rather aggressively. This one slab sided all the way down to this edge where this grind is here down to the cutting edge. So uh, additionally this has got a lot of mass, steel mass, back here in the handle whereas the Trailmaster tapers down a lot thinner in order to get this rubber handle uh, fitted over it. This is pretty heavily balanced uh, forward and this one's pretty neutral right in the center. Uh, as a matter of fact if I pick it up right here that's about where it balances. So it does have a lot of weight back back in the handle area. I just wanted to show this knife to you because the plan is to go out beat the snot out of this thing. Uh, I will be putting this thing directly up against Recon Scout and uh, we're going to put them head to head. Now I have more experience with the Scout and uh, I've been pretty hard on, on that knife. We're going to see what this one can do. So get a good look at it because it's not going to look like this for long. As a matter of fact, this thing's going out in the morning with me and uh, I'm going to start working this thing in right away. Uh, we're going to test it chopping, uh, cutting, uh, and we may even test out this little gut hook real life on some cottontail. We'll see how that works out. Anyhow, just wanted to set the stage that uh, this was kind of going to be a shoot off between uh, this and the Cold Steel. I think it's going to be a good match, or at least it is on paper. They're a lot different in many ways, but one is very conventional and the other is very unconventional. So we'll see how things wind up here. I hope to have a couple other testers involved in this. I would like at least one, but I'm trying to get two people and get their impressions uh, as well as my own, just to make sure that I'm not being biased. Hopefully I'll have some more videos about this within the next uh, two or three weeks. So stay tuned guys. Thanks for watching this time. Catch you later. Bye.